Hey, it's Lenny Liebman of Black Hat, and I am here with Roger Thornton, who's CTO at Alien Vault. Roger, it's good to see you again. Lenny, it's great to see you again. Here's the first thing I want to ask you. So there's a huge need for information security technology. And because of that huge market, there's a massive amount of capital <laughs> flowing into companies that deliver information security technology. So that's all great, but my sense is that we are nonetheless not feeling that much more secure today than we did a year ago. What's your analysis of that? We get too excited about the field itself and the technology itself, and we forget to take a step back and remember, for most companies, uh, information security is something that's been foisted upon them, something they have to do. It's not something that's part and parcel to their business. So a lot of um, where we are today is kind of missing the basics, but going after the, the latest and most interesting shiny object, making sure we have all the latest technology. And I think because of that, we end up spending a lot of money on information techno uh, security technology. Um, we end up not necessarily measuring our efficacy uh, appropriately. And, um, and, we, and we, get, we get a little bit too much involved in whatever the latest and greatest is. So on the buying side, what is your suggestion of what we should do while we're being confronted with all these wonderful shiny objects that probably have a lot of value to them? There's a whole bunch of information security, and let's call it just the basics, that there, it's not all that exciting, it's not talked about all that much, it's not gonna be all the flashy brand new products, but it's the simple act of making sure you're on the latest patches and releases of, of systems. Uh, making sure that access control is done right, making sure that passwords are really managed right, and making sure that your end users are aware of threats. Um, I, I think if you're not good at the basics, you, you'd almost be better off not worrying about any of the esoteric stuff because you're going to get compromised and you're going to get compromised by really basic stuff. So, mm -hmm. so focus on the basics. And then I think the next uh, um, big picture thing you got to do is depending on what industry you're in, there's a set of strategic um, imperatives, uh, imperatives about how you build systems, how you work with vendors how you work with your customer base. They're gonna change uh, if you're in the aerospace industry, if you're in the um, power generation and control, if you're in banking. Um, some of these industries are very sophisticated about security, and frankly, they are the ones that are driving the latest innovations, both on the side of the attackers and, and, and therefore on in the industry. But a lot of other industries um, take, for example, uh, anybody who's building embedded systems and IoT systems, there's a lot of real basic stuff that they need to do that's above and beyond the basics that everyone uh, needs to do. And, and, it, and it shouldn't be information security uh, exclusively. A lot of it's going to uh, touch the way that you build and buy things. And, it, and if it's not, then you're, then you're probably not um, doing enough. And then last, so you get the basics. Mm -hmm. You get this strategy that's appropriate for your industry. If you're good at both of those, mm -hmm. then there is all of the exotic latest uh, technologies and um, latest techniques to deal with the most advanced threats. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, that's about 90% of what you're going to be bombarded with because that's what's interesting, that's what sells products, that's what sells any, any kind of media, it's what, it's what makes trade shows <laughs> exciting, right? So I really like the idea of also distinguishing between the basics which are universal and some things which depend on what kind of company you are, not yeah. only vertical market but also size, also appetite for risk, etc. Um, can you relate this to Alien Vault's value prop? Are you part of getting the basics right then? In uh, a lot of discussion in information security about how impossible it ultimately is to keep somebody from getting in, right? They, you're gonna slip up on one of those aforementioned basics, somebody's gonna get conned into uh, a spear phishing email, and, and they're gonna get in, and that's true. But people don't talk enough about, if you're a bad guy and you've broken into some company, uh, unless you were the luckiest bad guy on planet Earth, you're gonna drop in at a point 
you're going to have to explore, navigate your way around that company, find what's interesting, and, and uh, take off with it. And those behaviors aren't going to look like the behaviors of people sitting doing banking or designing cars or whatever your primary business is. So AI involves in the, in the business of collecting the data, analyzing the behaviors of what's going on in your computers and your networks so that we can tell if anybody's up to malicious no good. Mm -hmm. and also, when you do that, you, you, you learn a lot about yourself, too. Mm -hmm. You see things that you're doing that, that um, may expose yourself to, to threats. Mm -hmm. So um, knowing what's going on, being able to de detect maliciousness, uh, I'd consider that definitely part of the basics. Surprising number of companies don't do that. Alien Vault really made this possible for um, not really Soho and Home, but the bulk, what we call small to medium enterprise. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I really hope that we can get to the point where every network, every IoT network, every home network has that same kind of detective capability. Yeah, so that's definitely a basic is to know when you're being breached as soon as possible so you can take countermeasures as soon as possible because it does take the bad guy some amount of time from the point of breach to he's actually been successful or right. about something. Um, and do you want to just talk about specifically how Open Threat Exchange sort of briefly uh, facilitates this? Sure. So um, uh, it, an important thing to know is um, Alien Vault uh, uh, kind of has its, um, its roots in the open source. Mm -hmm. So the uh, threat detection capabilities that we sell as a product. We also have an open source uh, uh, SIM solution called OSIM. Mm -hmm. And um, the thing is, when you're doing threat detection, you need, you need to understand about your environment. Mm -hmm. So you need to get information from software and computers and networks and, and get that in a place that can be analyzed. You also need to know information about the bad guys. Mm -hmm. What are their um, uh, methods? Mm -hmm. What are their tools? and what are the infrastructure that they're using. Mm -hmm. And if you've got a good handle on both sets of those data and you've got some good data people, you can find them, you mm -hmm. can find those behaviors. Um, for a lot of people, let's say you're working in, um, uh, uh, well, well let, me, let me start with the haves and we'll talk mm -hmm. about the haves nots. If you're working in a major global bank, you're going to get that information from your own experience. You're gonna get it from other banks and the FSI SAC, you're gonna get it from law enforcement agencies. And finally, there are uh, very expensive packages of information that you can buy that'll, that'll tell you about these behaviors and your team can go to work. For the average everyday cus company out there, mm -hmm. you're making um, bicycles or in the hotel business or you know, boats, airplanes, what have you, you're not gonna have access to that data. And so one of the things that we wanted to do with Open Threat Exchange was democratize the data sharing in the same way that our open source software made uh, the, the basic functionality available to everybody. So what Open Threat Exchange is, um, there's about 80,000 members of Open Threat Exchange. Almost all of them are um, uh, security practitioners of one type or another. Um, the the uh, data, a lot of the data in Open Threat Exchange is automated. It comes from our open source base. It comes from our commercial part, uh, uh, customer base. There are a number of security vendors we partner with. And then within the community, those 80,000 members are able to tie things together, mm -hmm. say, hey, you know what, I've seen that too, but I also saw these other 50 indicators. And we've got a, uh, a bundling we call a pulse. Mm -hmm. a, a pulse in OTX is a collection of indicators. Mm -hmm. They tie back to threat actors. Every bad guy um, that we run into has a homepage on OTX, mm -hmm. so even the bad guys might want to go see <laughs> how they're doing. Um, the, uh, uh, the key, though, is opening up that data to as many practitioners mm -hmm. as possible so that, so that the time in between the uh, identification of, of, of some bit of knowledge about the bad guys and what they're doing and the time between all of us knowing mm -hmm. goes down as yep. fast as possible. Yeah, so you're really democratizing threat intelligence. Yeah. Um, and if somebody's interested in this, is there an easy, fast, maybe even free way for them to get started ASAP? OTX.AlienVault.com, there's a, you know, a little bit of stuff you gotta make your way through, you can sign up and join. And um, even an old management guy like me, uh, when I find stuff, uh, my computer's acting bizarrely, I, I can go on there and uh, search for uh, domain names or content of a spamming email or what have you. 
But one of the things we've added to Open Threat Exchange um, uh, is the ability to pull down a, um, a OS query based agent. And OS query is a open source tool created by Facebook, very robust and powerful and high performance, it's been um, well proven. Um, we've added a little bit of functionality on top of that that allows it to connect to um, Open Threat Exchange. You put that agent on your machine, you go to Open Threat Exchange, and anytime you want, you can scan that machine for the entire set of threats that are known about within um, uh, OTX. Absolutely free, kind of gets you, uh, uh, particularly if you're one of those Soho or, or even mm. a home user, this will get you, uh, get you started in detecting threats within, within that uh, particular environment. It's not nearly as comprehensive as our commercial products, but it, but it, it, it gets, you, gets you started. Yeah, and it's probably a good idea to start somewhere to, to see what the value of the exchange is. Roger, thanks so much for the time. Oh, you bet. And thank you, Lenny. We really appreciate it. Again, Lenny Liebman of Black Hat here with Roger Thornton of Alien Vault. Hope to see you online again soon. <laughs>